welcome to Chicago Chronicles. <laughs> I wrote this story because I wanted to invoke the spirit to respond. Like, out of Yummy's life, it was a lot of heartache and a, and a lot of pain. On the west side, they call him Jack Bobo, and they see evidence of his success. Diamond bracelets, diamond rings, dome perignon, and long limousines. Only the beginning of Jeff Ford, even though he was sent to prison in 1972 for misusing federal money. He emerged four years later even better prepared to leave. Physically bigger, mentally tougher, and he would argue now spiritually inclined. Cleveland is the city where a nigga come from, slaking them niggas. People over in the Lawndale area want their piece of the pie. And they want to do their homework, but I gotta tell you, they're get it. The conservative vice laws came as a result of the older vice laws realizing that the younger vice laws. I don't even know what drugs look like. I never do the more do I. I don't even drink. Welcome to Chicago Chronicles, a series that depicts the life of different people and entities from Chicago who have influenced the culture as well as the world. Brace yourself as I take you on this journey into Chicago streets. Now, it's time we play with the Ouija board. Yummy, who's your player? Me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I was so worried about where you are. Are you hurt? Are you all right? What are the police looking for me for? The police? You haven't done anything wrong. Just let me come get you. Where are you? I'm at the gas station on Lonnie Phil. I'm on my way right now. Just stay right where you are. I'm on my way, baby. Christ, is it me or is it shipping them in now younger and younger? This kid is not a day older than my youngest daughter. What you got there? The deceased is an African American black male, approximately 11 years old, a green and gray sweatshirt with a Tasmanian devil carton character on the front, wearing green denim jeans, gym shoes, uh, Purple plated jacket. Hey Roy, can you hand me another charge? This kid has more scars and tattoos than some bikers I've examined. Yummy! Yummy! Is that the little boy that's been on the news? Holy shit, it is! Yum. Yummy! Yummy! Oh, yummy! Thank God! Thank God! Yummy! yummy. What little boy? Sir, sir, have you seen a little boy, sir? Are you sure? Oh, oh. What little boy? The little boy that every freaking time dead Caddy and Lacey with a badge in the city has been looking for for these last three days. Shit, I even think they have the mailmen, the freaking meter maids, the Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts looking for him. Man, cut the fucking crap, right? What the fuck were they looking for him for? Oh, crap. 
Well, before you go getting all weepy-eyed, you might as well save your tears for someone that deserves it. According to the rules, this little motherfucker was a real badass. Stole cars, gangbangs, sold drugs, the whole nine yards. Say he was some kind of a hitman or something for the Black Disciples. DDs, I think they call them. Well, I don't care what he did. He's still a child. I can only imagine what this kid has been through. Shit, shit. I'm seeing shit, man, like, you know what I'm saying? I close my eyes at night and I just see all kind of crazy shit, man, like, I don't know, it's like the world fucked up, man, like, no, I can't let shit go in the past, you know, reflecting on bullshit, but I'ma keep going on with this, you know, I'm just gonna keep doing my thing and maintain, maintain, shit, no, I just learned, man, can't let the bullshit get to you. Going through excessive habits Having dreams of Michael Myers Walking with a hatchet These bitches in this world Yeah, they still ratchet Going through a depression Depression of sadness Uh, it used to be a lot of pain With the laughter Write another book Write another chapter Seeing ghosts from the past Casper When I die Will I rest in peace? Some good people in the world are deceased My sister just had a baby niece But we hardly speak I'm trying to build my career But my homie asking Where are the freaks? Before I go I'm just trying to do some good deeds the Embellishment gave me hard to perceive Yeah, by example, I must leave Feeling like I am the last of a dying breed Feeling like a slave that's been free Kids know how to sell drugs but can't read Negative energy, that's what they feed Looking in the future, it is foreseen Curiosity got my eyes red like it was chlorine Yeah, living this life, I might be boring Seeing dead homies in the grave, I be mourning I'm just smoking kush early in the morning Man, smoking kush early in the morning You know, I see what's going on But a lot of people don't see what's going on They staying simple-minded You know, the world fucked up I see, like, all kind of shit You see crazy shit on the news every day But, you know, motherfuckers don't even see The big picture, what's going on in life you know, motherfuckers only care about, you know, women and jewels and trying to be flashy, man, you know, it's crazy, man, every day you look out, you see illegitimate kids, man, shit's fucked up, but, you know, I'm, I'm just speaking what I feel, you know, I know I can't change I know the little boy, I, I took some time out with him, and he seemed kind of quiet, you know, he respects me, and, um, he liked to be in with me, I never had a... I never had one mini um, a problem with that young man. Right here, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Young, don't leave. Stay here. I'm gonna go call your grandmother. I'll be right back. All right, thank you, son. You're welcome. Just stay there. I'll be right back. Hey, young, hey, young folks. Man, me and the guys, me in the back, man. We about to take you out of town, get you somewhere safe. No, I was keeping up. No, man, we on some. Come on, young folks. Nah, come on. Let's go. How long did you know him? Since I've been staying around here. How long was that? About a year. Yeah? Mm-hmm. What was he like? Bad. Huh? Hmm? Bad? Like, when you say bad, what do you mean? Fire still. Breaking the people out. I 
Oh shit! In this evening's news, like a scene from a gritty crime movie, two men exchanged fire killing each other in a drug deal gone bad. Officers found $20,000 in cash and three ounces of cocaine at the scene of the double murder. Chicago Police Department 4th District Lieutenant Murphy and Detective Abatidas labeled the crime drug related. Me and my son, the time that I got to know him, he was nice to me. How did you learn about his death? Um, a phone call. Fuck! So today class, this is a makeup quiz from last week and your algebra test from chapters 14 through 16. You have 
30 minutes starting at 11.30, so I'm gonna need all pistols down at 12. <laughs> okay, class, that's time of the hour. Pistols down, pistols down. Everybody pass their test to the front. Okay, class is dismissed. You all can go to your next class. Now you've been in my classroom for the past year now. And I've observed you with every other student in my classroom. And lately, Craig, you don't seem like yourself. So tell me, what's up, man? How you ever had to tell somebody, son, but you knew they wouldn't believe you? That's the type of situation I'm in. Like, what do you mean? Let me know what's up. I could probably help. It started about four months ago, two weeks before I turned 17. I started having these dreams and nightmares of the past, like I was in another life, like I was somebody else. How often do you have these dreams, and what are they about? I was having them, like, every day, and then they started to slow down. And then I seen the signs, and then he showed up. When you say he, who are you talking about? The little boy, young. Who? What? You mean Robert Sandiford, the little boy? Yeah, I remember. I was a kid when that happened. It was sad the way they did that little boy. But then again, he killed that little girl, Siobhan. And his own gang ended up killing him. And the two boys that killed him, they were brothers. They ended up going to jail for his murder. So I guess everything balanced out one way or another. Yeah. If you say so. So you know the story. But you don't know the history then. My father and uncle was 16 and 14 when they were charged with Yami's murder. Two weeks after my father was locked up, I was born. And to this point, I ain't think nothing of it. But do you think my situation could be father saying waiting on the child? You mean, could it be more spiritual in nature? Honestly, Craig, I don't know. It's not in my field. But I might know someone who could help you. My friend, he's a Dongong priest, and he's into the belief of ancient committed teachings of the spiritual world. What's that? Well, the Egyptians practiced this religion. In fact, the land we know as Egypt, the Egyptians refer to as a land they call home known as Kemet, meaning black land. The ancient Egyptians viewed this afterlife as a journey through several tests, the climax of which are the way of the heart. The dead will have their heart weighed against the ostrich's feather, the feather of the top. If their heart was too heavy with sin, it was fed to Amit, a monster goddess and the person is destroyed forever. Those who pass this test become a cool or blessed ancestors. They reside in Dewat, the land of Osiris, and can be communicated with by humans on earth. If a person flees judgment or gets lost on the way, they may become a Muet or angry dead person terrorizing living descendants. So for a person to survive death indefinitely, like in Yummy's case, they must be remembered. A person's name and image must be remembered past death reincarnation, whether continuous or tell all lessons I learned. And these dreams are language of God sending you a message. And no one can interpret what's in your heart better than you, right? And you say these dreams are reoccurring, right? Right. 
So it seems like Yummy is trying to tell you about something or warn you about something. Yeah, you just confirm what I already know. <laughs> okay, so do you? So what are you gonna do? About what? About Yummy. I guess it ain't much I can do. It's the Hardaway. way. Remember, signs and symbols for the conscious mind. All these children that are standing here, looking down. Take a good look, and I want you to say within your heart that you'll never end up like Robin. Okay? Cry if you will. Cry, <laughs> Make up your mind that you will never let your life end in tragedy like this. Okay. Okay, come on. Let's go. Low, low, rock, rock, low, rock. How many? Two. Straight. Short. I ain't had it all day, man. Man, love you, Joe. This is all I can. like that. He was a 11 year old boy. He got beat by his father. He had burn marks all over him, stuff like that. Did you ever hear him get beat? Did you ever see him get beat? Not in front of, um, outside or nothing. Like when they um, get in trouble, um, I think, yeah, I think they whoop him. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Did he ever complain about it? Mm -hmm. Or Robert. 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 What? Damn, I'm right in front of you. So finish the sentence for me. I'm feeling very sick. Where do you live? Mom, I mean with my grandma. And how does she treat you? Good. She buy me clothes, games, shoes. And she a good cook. And grandpa too. What? You trying to trick me? Have a seat, Robert. Nobody's trying to trick you. So why are you feeling sick? What? I ain't say that. Excuse me, miss. Are you finished with Mr. Sandberg? His grandmother's waiting for him. As a matter of fact, we are done here. You can leave, Robert. Alright, come on, Robert. Bye, Robert.
And one thing, she was a very, she was a very neat young lady. She loved to keep her hair pretty, and she loved to keep herself neat and clean. She was a very clean young lady. And also, she, she was very polite. She was very polite to everybody. And she wouldn't say just one minute or two minute word that was wrong. I'm Savon. And I got three tears for y'all today, all right? I ain't gonna tell y'all where I learned this tears from, all right? But I learned it when I was a little kid. It all started out at the football game when the coach said, stand up and take the stage. I can't. Why not? I can't. Why that? Because my back hurt. My butt hurt. My booty shake from the left to the right. Go left. Go right. <laughs> and this was for you, Kim. U-G-L-Y. You ain't got no alibi. You ugly. Hey, you ugly. Hey, your mama said you ugly. Your daddy said you ugly. Hey. Well, you is ugly. Hey. I'm not just saying, but you're not as cute as me, though. Shut up, girl. So don't go up. Come on, stop arguing with that girl. You know we gotta get up early. If you gonna help, you need to tell your friends. You'll see them later. And come on. Man, I fucking really wanted to buy. I already still up, girl. What up? Where I wrote your line? Come on, let's go to my house and jump over. Marvin, I'm so far, but it's a... Go to the park. I gotta see. Sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yes. Well, it's like we for the eat. So hold on. Hold on. You go to the park. Let's eat first. Make sure Victor get some of the fries. I ain't mom. Now you make sure you don't leave this house none tonight, yummy. I'm not leaving. I've been working all today. And plus, I got to test them all. You ain't going to be having no truancy officer coming up in here looking for you. You're going to get your ass up and go to school in the morning. Now you know you my baby, yummy. But I can't protect you when those streets get a hold to you. So I pray every night. That you are covered in the blood of Jesus. And no harm comes to you. I just can't help but to worry. on the door like that. Who you here looking for, James? Nigga ain't looking for you. Your little ass got a smart ass mouth. You uh, said James like the John John Dell? Yeah, he here. He tell you about that job? I got a job for y'all if y'all want to make a little money later on. Nah, nah, I'll pass on that. John John! You know me, I'm doing with that shit roll up. Mm. Yeah. I don't like that nigga, man. He be acting like a few cake. Yeah, I don't like that nigga either, man. I'm just going around and get some money to roll up some more. Hey, find that shit up. Alright, we gotta pick up Mike and Meeks real quick, bro. Oh. Well, do you have a late pass? Nah, no, it's Johnson to get us, man. You know what, come on in here. I'll make an exception this one time so you guys never gave us a center for the class today. You know, it's rare we see you here in school, Robert. No, I know, I know. Boy, ain't that shame. You must be out of your mind tripping if you think you're going to sit next to them. Go over there and sit next to Deja. Until you read, Jessica. Ooh, you smell 
my weed. So, <laughs> Robert, is there something you want to share the rest of the class? Nah, she was saying. No, it's for donkeys. It's no. <laughs> now, before you interrupt this class, we were reading about. It's a good movie. You and Deja have to share a book. I want you to pick up what Jessica left off of. Top left hand corner where it reads the First Amendment says, Mr. Santa. Ah, oh, that nigga can't read. Shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Joseph, this is like a comedy act to you. But wipe that stupid looking expression that you call a grin off your face. Robert, you can't blame anybody but yourself for that. If you show up to school and try to learn something every once in a while, you wouldn't have this problem. Now, I'll finish talking to you about this later. Deja, pick up reading where he left off. This is the bomb. I'm hungry. I'm gonna see all today. Well, you know, tonight, I might come back in this bitch and grab all the pieces in the chicken up. Well, I'm gonna need a window cracker, Miss Cleveland. Okay, okay. Very clever, my friend. Very clever. Alright. I don't know about y'all. I'm finna hop in this softball game. You know how to play softball. Hey, watch. Hey, let me back. Bro, give me the back, bro. You almost hit me with it. Give me the back. Stephanie was already back. Just can't come in the middle of the gym and take over. No, it's cool. Let him back. Oh. Yeah, I'm supposed to. I hope he can throw up. I'm not that weak ass. Get out the park. Man, I hope this nigga don't start no bullshit. You better tell me, yummy. Man, that was the most bullshit, man. Hey, hope you're not for me, though. Know. The park, boy. Fuck this nigga. That bogus ass bro, bro. Oh, hey, you no, think I'm joking? Uh, that was the most bullshit. Think I'm joking? Man. Man. Throw that motherfucker real good. Hey, yummy, you better hit this shit now. Hit this motherfucker. Hey, I told you I'm not the one to fuck with. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Damn, that's Damn, fucked wait. up. Yummy, don't do it to him. <laughs> 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 So, oh, there you go, right there. So, what's up for you? something like connect two bikes together put yeah, one frame did. on the back and then they they did two bikes in one he invent stuff invent stuff yeah so he's a smart guy yeah i got spinning from school start on monday damn that's fucked up what do you mean it's fucked up i don't like school anyway 
Why is that? Uh, no. What is mine for now? Hey, come with me after school. Break in the school. I'm down. Mr. Cleveland Club? You down, Mike? You already know I'm down. Alright. No, I'm down. I gave my little brother and him some good experience with this movie. Looks like the kept going. I should have. Better watch him do it. Don't be scared. So you think I can do this by myself, little nigga? It's your mom. Your mom. Was real fixed on me teaching you a. Thing or two. <laughs> she wants you to earn some money. So I figured, why not? You never know what she might like. Take them shoes off. What did you do? So you don't mess some good shoes up. Man, hurry up, put the boots on, goddammit! Hurry up, man! Get the damn shoes! What the fuck is that you talking about? Man, quit acting like a bitch! Hey, you got a dollar? I got a forty dollars. What? I need a dollar. What about a dollar? Not a dollar? Uh, you said I'm gonna abandon the house. What the fuck you expect? The hell? Yeah, I thought it was gonna be like a real house. This is a real house. We just gotta fix it up. Man, that made that two by four. What you scared, little nigga? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's the perfect father. Shut the fuck up, man. I heard that. What? Someone, somebody just said, Mama, yo, scary ass, get at your own shadow. They follow your mom, yeah, fuck. Okay? Alright. Don't you try nothing. I'll fuck you up. Don't you try nothing. You hear me? Get up, Hurry up. Get back and you gotta say nothing, little boy.
you dirty motherfucker! Fuck you! Hold up, little bitch! Fuck you! Make you sticky and send you on your way, bro! Oh shit, let's go on to Blue Moon. She probably been looking for us all day today. You gotta kick it. You gonna kick it. Mom. <laughs> I gotta you. Oh, hey, you Son, I trust this letter reaches you of sound body and mind. I received both of your letters a few days ago. Mail here is currently three to four weeks behind, so keep that in mind as we correspond. In your last two letters, you was asking about Yummy. Tell me, what's the son's interest, son? And to answer your question, I don't know if I will ever share or tell that story of that part of my life. What I need to know is, can you accept that? I live life by focusing on the here and now, aim towards my future, while I see the past as a window into something that will never change. And if we hope to change and undergo transformation, our focus should be on the present. Can you respect that? I believe if you look deep inside within you, there was a story to be told. What I'm saying, son, is I choose to remain silent, don't you? Hell no, nah, nigga, I ain't going for this shit, man. I'll catch you over here by the corner store buying zoo zoos and weird. Hell, man. Hell, man. Hell, man. Hell, man. Hell, man. Crazy motherfucker. Fuck around smacking that nigga with them big ass hands. <laughs> crazy Damn. ass. What you want, my nigga? I think what's going to be the ass face That's crazy. You ain't gonna act crazy. The work of school. School, my nigga? School, my baby? What's up, man? Do your grandma know you out here? Yes, Mr. Rose. Damn, bitch, is it any of your concern where he at? Is you his grandma? Yeah, <laughs> stupid bitch. I know you just bitch. didn't call me no bitch. Damn, Joe. Don't get hurt. You understand me? Come on. Let's go. Right. You gonna still be out here on the block with us, Joe? You ain't Shut stopping me. Alright, y'all. Hey, you hey, get right, that door with baby. us, little folks. Come on, baby. Yummy. Listen to me. Now, them little niggas that you hanging with, they mean you no good. No good at all. Look at me while I'm talking to you, boy. Have some respect for your elders. Now, you young, you dumb, full of calm. Y'all don't know nothing. You gonna get yourself in a situation, boy. You ain't gonna be able to get no way out of it at all. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Do you understand what I am saying to you? Now, you know what? <laughs> Just the other day, I was uh, doing my shift. This little boy, uh, 
He about your age. You probably know him. I think his name is Julius. What, Julian? I was just with him the other day. Yeah. Well, let me tell you about what happened. I'm sitting in my car, chilling, having some lunch. I see him running. Matter of fact, jumping out the window. Trying to escape from somebody who was trying to rape him. You don't want yourself to be like that. You don't want nothing like that to happen. I just want you to get your act together. Because I know you're smarter than this. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? Yes. And every time I see you with them thug ass niggas, I'm going to snatch your ass up and embarrass your ass every time. Do you understand me? Yes. Do you understand me? Yes. Now get your ass in the house. Take your time, man. You got, you got plenty of time. Thank you. Thank you. How's everyone? Yeah. Praise God. Praise God. Yeah. Um, I'm sure everyone knows that I was supposed to speak last week. However, I was hindered. And the irony about it is I'm in spiritual warfare class. And um, I was being attacked. And I didn't even know I was being attacked. Um, when I was supposed to appear last week, I, um, I was trying to figure out a way how to make it here and um, do another engagement at the same time. And unfortunately, that didn't work out. But um, at the time, I didn't know I was being attacked. And this week, when I was supposed to preach again, as you can see, I'm here today. But um, as uh, a few days ago, I was stricken with the spirit of infirmity. And um, at that time, I was still studying in the spiritual warfare book. And I was reading a few passages, and it was revealed to me that, I, that I've been under attack for quite some time now. So immediately, I went to war. Me standing here today signifies that Satan has been defeated. Yeah. <laughs> Greg, what are you up to? I don't know. I'm finna go get me some fresh air. I'll get me this on. Now, you know I don't want you out there getting something for nothing. I already lost your uncle, your mama, your daddy, your grandma. They living in the consequences of the decision they made. What's up, my nigga? What up, boy? I see you finally decided to come out the house. Yeah, man, I've been in the house sleeping a lot. Stayed up sleeping. Yeah? You wanna hit this end, dog? You know. About to get another fifth. You kicking it with us or what? Man, I don't even know. The way I see it, I'm gonna be in the crib doing nothing. You might as well get out here and do something, man. You know, I don't be on shit. I be out here trying to get some money. <laughs> well, since you put it that way, you kind of make sense. But let's weigh out the odds for a minute. My money being longer versus my lifespan being shorter. Now, I don't think I can spend that money when I'm dead. So, chances of fear, if it got anything we risk in my life or freedom, I don't want shit to do with it. I'm just have to be a broke ass nigga then. <laughs> I feel you, Dr. King, bro. This nigga always arguing with this bitch, man. KP, man, you gonna argue with her like KP? 
Hello, cuz. Don't interrupt me while I'm talking to my bitch. Yo, bitch, you the bitch, yeah, kitty, bitch. for real. You what bitch made ass nigga. You ain't got shit. You ain't even got no motherfucking car. What the fuck you talking about, kitty? What the fuck you talking about? Get off me, kitty! Get off me! <laughs> Hell yeah, I'm trying to get fucked up though. You spot to go in the crib and hear my old lady mouth. Man. <laughs> Dude, you wife from them hoes. Oh, come on, that's how you do it. Wake up. Hey, you. Take that little boy being on me like that. That was cool. That was cool. Did you know the boy? Huh? Did you know the little boy? Yeah, well, my friend, he go to VV. He was your friend. What was he like? He was bad. Are these bad? Is huh? it, uh, was it, would you say, you say Robert Sandifer was bad, right? Yeah. Would you say the Hardaway boys are bad? Nope. Because they, they, ain't, they ain't never been, when they was around here, they weren't bad. Were they in the game? I don't know. They just walk, walk, walk. And I tell them all the time, y'all stop walking. Well, I was running to catch the ball. Somebody started shooting. So, I hit the ground. It was the second, third shot before I had no I've been shot. They came outside to play. She can, she can give you that. Felicia. Hi, my name is Andrew Jones. Oh, the night that Sh Sh Siobhan was killed, right? What, what were you all doing out here that night? You got me on news line. That's all you can eat. Go ahead. Yeah. Can you play ball? ball? Mm hmm Who's a good ball player? Craig. Derek. Craig. Yeah, Derek too. Derek can walk play. Far with the basketball, please. Do you think they did it? Nope. I don't they think they did it. Like nope. And I don't even think that little boy did anything like that. That was cool. Shorty, I'm wrong. I'm out of here. He ain't no too much, man. Man, Joe, you know if they catch his ass, he gonna snitch. Hey, when you see him, tell him we're gonna take him out of town. Uh, we gotta go, folks. Right. Hey, Joe, you know what you gotta do, man. See if it's some police out there. Get two shots at an inch one and the doors open for me, bro. Alright. Hardaway. I'm Assistant State's Attorney, Teresa Harney. I realize that it's been a very long day. You've been here since about 10 o'clock in the morning talking to the police, and it's now about 7 o'clock in the evening. You got your little brother Derek in the police station talking about now. And he's telling us everything we want to hear. Can I talk to you about it? Why are you on the floor? 
I wonder why you were so aggressive. You know, were you with Mr. Sam for an hour before his death? No, man. Miss Stop Lock, put your hands behind your back. You have the right to remain silent. And anything you say or do will be held against you in the court of law. You got the right to an attorney. If you can't afford an attorney, it won't be presented for you, all right? This is a very serious case, and you will be charged as an adult. What? You have the right to remain God. silent. Anything you say or do can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to consult an attorney before talking to the police or to have an attorney present during questioning now or in the future. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be appointed for you before questioning if you so wish. If at any time you talk to the police without an attorney present, you have the right to stop and wait for your attorney. Knowing these rights as I've explained them to you, are you willing to talk to me without an attorney present? Yeah. Yeah. I think this kid never had a chance, you know. It's a very sad story. Well, it ain't the first sad story you'll be hearing, and it damn well won't be the last one, Ed. We got two more poor saps coming in from over east, and when you're finished with him, I got another course waiting for you. Everybody said he was a bad kid. He wasn't a bad kid to me, and he's my friend. I cried yesterday, and I'm crying again today, and the next day, and the next day, and the next day after that. Mighty God, to take out of the world the soul of this, our deceased son. We therefore commit his body to the ground. Those of us that are alive and will be caught up together. I can't say who did it because I wasn't there. I cannot say something happened that I didn't see. You know, I'm not the judge. God is the judge. You know, that's for God to judge. It's not for me. My thing, I can't, I, I don't think that he killed my niece. I can't say because it was at nighttime and nighttime has no eyes and bullets have no direction. So I wasn't there. But all I can say that deep down in my heart, I love the little boy and I do have deep sympathy for the for the family I do care about the family because I do know of the family and the family I don't have no bad feeling towards the family no kind of way because I'm saved in Christ Jesus and God's spirit doesn't deal the other way see my father he does the judge not me
They tellin', they tellin', these niggas still tellin', they checkin', they checkin', these niggas still checkin', they hoein', they hoein', these bitches still hoein', it's murder, it's money, it's drugs in my section, block, block 45 when I use for protection, if I ever die, bury me with my weapons, mama don't cry knowing you was a blessing, and been my niggas ride for the squad that I'm rappin'. Yeah. Can't burn me, bitch, I keep a magnum on that burn through your chromosome until your skin is bone. They say I lost my mind, my head is baking, so nobody's home. I'm in love with my ice cubes, just like me alone. I'd rather be alone. Hoes will try to speak your phone. Your conversation when they call me, they get that beeping tone. 40 tucks, so I do not sleep alone. Act crazy, watch my bitch bust until that nut is gone. Shots blazing, stumble like he drunk, but that's another song. Free too low, my nigga, tell me when my brother coming home. Only real niggas, real shit that's in my blood and bones Papa was a rolling stone, got killed and now I'm on my horse I'm alright, I'm holding on, smoke a bottle, zip a straw That cannon that I keep on me is big enough to lick a home Niggas act like they ain't talking, I know who you snitching on You fit the description, they act different when the pistol's drawn yeah. They tellin', they tellin', these niggas still tellin', they checkin', they checkin', these niggas still checkin', they hoein', they hoein', these bitches still hoein', it's murder, it's money, it's drugs in my section, block block 45, what I use for protection, if I ever die, bury me with my weapons, mama don't cry knowing you was a blessing, and bet my niggas ride for the squad that I'm rappin'. Yeah, y'all gon' hate it cause we win it, win it. You gon' need a clinic around this booth because I'm in it. Ooh. Don't know what I'm saying, Say Rocky be the sickest. Yeah, I am G the realest. Ooh. TTG, we back to business. Yeah. You gon' really have to feel this. Feel this. Sprinting to a million, he ain't knowing how to write. Uh. Judge made him do a sentence, yeah. not knowing how to fight.